started. This video, we're doing the fifth battle against the one and only boss of Harmony Island, right, guys? Hey, what's going on, everyone? One Doctor Genius here, and it's, and let's get straight to it. So, right, this is the fifth battle. From this battle, we will get ourselves the Ice Relic Ring. And one battle after this, the sixth and final battle, we'll get ourselves the Astral Relic Ring. But right now, over here, you guys can see both candles are about to light. Ah, well, minor inconvenience. Um, turns out I did my counting wrong, so I guess I'll have to be back right after doing one more run. Alrighty, guys, minor inconvenience to the side. Now we can finally proceed on forward to do the fifth trial of the Ancient One. Right, so you guys heard that right. Fifth trial, and without further ado, let's go down straight to that. Yes, let's click the crystal and let's prodigy play itself. Alright, so we have completed that ancient run, so now one candle should have lit itself and we should be able to go. Ah! Alright guys, let's click on the crystal and see if we can do the fifth Harmony Island boss battle, right? So here we go, we're loading into Harmony Island and the fifth candle has lit itself! Woohoo, it seems like that the circle is lighting itself up and now we can finally do the fifth battle against the ancient one in Harmony Island. So right, you guys can see the fifth trial is coming up. No, you, did you did it. Now you can take the ancient trial. Yes, we can. Yeah, I do think I'm prepared considering what happened last time. I know what I'm dealing with. Yeah, guys. So obviously, you guys know I'm now a master at this. So let's go and challenge the ancient one and see how this ends up, right? Yes. I totally didn't forget where to click to start off the battle, you guys did. So right, anyways, what we're doing is we're battling against the Ancient Ones, right? There are multiple tactics which you guys can employ over here, right? Now for the, tap now for the tactics which I'm gonna go with, the tactics include unlimited health and power, okay? Yeah, that's all. The only tactic which I'm gonna use is unlimited health and power, right? So yeah, basically what this needs is it basically needs us to add more health to our team. Alright guys, so now over here I've gotten the perfect team composition set up to fight against the Ancient Swen, right? So let's start off our trial and see how this goes. Alright guys, here we go, we've teleported over to the Ancient One's island, and now let's see how our trial goes, right? So let's continue along the path over here, and to the Ancient One, crossing by the Ancient Ruins on the side. So right, let's just quickly head up over here because we want to battle the ancient one. So let me just go up over here. Right, guys, we have finally reached the zone where we will battle against the ancient one, and let's get this started. The fifth trial. All right, guys. So it seems like that the ancient one wants to start off the fifth battle. So let's get straight to that. And obviously they've kept the amazing music from the last time. And now basically what I'm going for in this case is I'm going for the maximum amount of damage which I can do. Sorry, before we start off this battle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip a resist all potion to make ourselves even more immune against the Ancient One's attack, right? So it seems like that the Ancient One finds water spells as her favorite, so we're going to use these shields to help us out a bit, right? Now what we're going to do is we're basically going to pummel the Ancient One with these types of spells, right? Yeah. Alrighty guys, so we're casting our first spell on top of the Ancient One doing 5,000 damage, which is kind of disappointing, but, oh well, what? Nani? She just switched the, what? What in the world, what spell did the Ancient One cast? She just switched our pet's locations. What is this? Alrighty, it seems like the Ancient One can teleport me with my pets, so that's a new spell. Yeah, alright guys, so I've casted another question correct, and this time it seems like we should be able to cast our spell on top of the Ancient One and do a couple 4,000 damage, right? So that seems about right, but it does seem like this time we're gonna lose Meg Mischief. So yeah, that's not very good, and it seems like Meg Mischief took a fair bit of damage. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna cast like, a, and I'm basically trying to kill the Ancient One. Ah, well, I've answered a question wrong, <laughs> and it seems like that the ancient <laughs> Wonderful. Alright, so it seems like I was clearly not prepared for the ancient one switching me around with my pets, right? 
that one was unaccounted for. Alrighty guys, we have casted another question correct, and now let's attack the opponent team. Basically, we have done five- oh, no, 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 God. Why does the Ancient One do this every single time my wizard comes up? Just fight my wizard, lady. Fight my wizard. Totally wasn't about to scream lizard. Alright guys, let's cast another spell on the Ancient One. And hopefully this time the Ancient One won't decide to switch me up with my pet because I would be pretty annoyed if that happens. Alright guys, so here we go, another 5,000 damage done and the Ancient One will die in 3 attacks. And it does not seem like that the Ancient One's favorite spell is switching me around with my pets. That is good! Right, and now that we've done that, let me just quickly heal up 75% of my team's health, which brings me back to full health. No, no, no! Stop switching my pets! It doesn't even seem like that the Ancient One has a spell for it. She just decides, you know what? Switch your pets. Because I said so. Yeah, this is going to be one annoying battle, guys. The Ancient One just randomly decides, you know what? Let's switch your pets by teleporting them. So this is new. I wonder what the Ancient One does in the final battle, right? This is actually kind of crazy. But right now, let's cast our spell. And it seems like we should be able to 3-tap the Ancient One. Meaning we will be able to kill her in 3 attacks. Right, and now if the Ancient One doesn't switch me and my pets around, well then it will be even faster. With the genius power of my genius brain, I have answered another question correct and dealt another 5,000 damage. Meaning that the Ancient One has taken more damage and decides to teleport me with my pets. You know what, let's have an instant replay of the teleporting, right? Yeah, you guys can see instant teleporting replay. So guys, it seems like that the Ancient One casts some sort of circle thingy majiggy around me and causes me to switch with my pets, but either way, all of my pets are dead and the Ancient One is at 3000 health. Although I don't know what the tactical advantage of casting a Vine Spell here is, but I really couldn't care much more. Finally, we've answered the last question we need to finish off the Ancient One and only took the death of my two pets, and now we shall be able to fight this legend that destroyed the Ancient One. Right, so yeah, 5,000 damage dealt, meaning we have one hour battle against the Ancient One. And yes, alright, so we've learned something new. The Ancient One can lock our spells, can switch our pet around. So I think that in, I think that our third test will be when the Ancient One switches our pets around and locks our spells, right? That's probably what's coming up next, next on the list. And it seems like we have a damage reduction 6 power ruin, so that will be quite interesting for me to see. But yeah, there we go, we won that battle. Yes. What happened to the people? Most people have long since left. But I still wish to become a being capable of protecting this world. Why did they leave? I want to welcome new villagers. But I need my powers back first. I need to pass my sixth trial. Okie dokie, as long as you give me the astral relic ring, I'll do it. Alright guys, so it seems like that the ancient one has sent her back. Alright guys. So it seems like that the Ancient One is sending us back and has told us about a village which he had. But yeah, here we go, we're being teleported back home and here we are. No, all of the flames are going back and out. Ooh, alright, so it seems like we got ourselves a new relic ring. Ancient Ice Relic, right? That's pretty cool. And the entire circle is gone. Alright, so it seems like Harmony Island was a village. Hold up, what if the wizards are actually the villagers from Harmony Island who left? What if that's the thing, guys? Do you guys ever think how crazy that would be like? The people of Harmony Island are the villagers who left? Right, so yeah, there we go, we finished off the fifth trial, and now we only have one more trial left. That's all for this video. I hope you guys found the spells of this relic ring entertaining and this battle. Anyways, guys, in our next video, we shall be doing the final battle against the Ancient One. 
So yeah, if you guys want to see that, I'd recommend you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already, and share it with your friends if they like Prodigy as well. So yeah, when Dr. Genius out of the house, bye and have a good time guys.